everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage, and today we're looking at one of the cars. I just love these things, man. You know, everybody has their era that they grew up in. This is not my era. However, what I love about this is the fact that it's, I don't know, man, it's just the style of these Tri-5 Chevys, 55, 56, and 57, that just resonate with me. Like, you think about the jet age that's coming in here. All the time, people will say to me, wow, Tony, that's a great-looking car, but nobody really knows why it's a great-looking car. So I like to spend a few minutes and show you some of the details which make some cars better looking than other not to mention the upgrades and this in particular here is special because it's a pro touring car and you say Tom what's a pro touring car exactly mean there's a big definition of that all over it's broad I'm not really sure what that means what it means or a resto mod is another one restored and modified right in the case of this here, that's exactly what we have. We have a beautifully restored car that's completely custom. There's really nothing left on the car that's all original. Um, and it's kind of the way I like to buy them because if I was gonna own this car, I love the body of it, but I don't necessarily love the way a 70 year old car drove. Now this has changed all that. It's comfortable, it's luxurious, it's fast, it sounds good. Uh, it's all the things that make me smile and makes everybody else smile when I'm driving down the road. All right, well, I want to talk about body and paint for a minute because this is an important part of things, and I'll tell you why. When you buy a car, no matter how exotic everything else is around the car, if the body and paint aren't great, you're not going to buy it. You're not going to be happy when you walk up to it, and you're not going to be satisfied. This right here changes all of that. These cars have big panels, and when you have big panels, they have to be straight, man. There's a lot of acreage here showing you the uh, imperfections that could potentially be wrapped up in here. But we're looking at this here. A lot of times I do the uh, test of the hood for the paint, and I wanted to know, Amber, can you come on up here and show them this, this right here? Look at that in the paint there, how beautiful that is. You can see the floors, you can see the cars behind us. It's just really nice, and it's so nicely done. All of the polished stainless is new, uh, the mirrors and what have you. But back to the original style of the car, this is the beginning of the jet age, right? And so here we see so many jet age things. For instance, we see the jet on the hood here. We see uh, the intakes for uh, the jet engines. And then as we're looking out the back, and you'll see styling cues out back there that are very jet-like, right? Just really cool. The Chevrolet emblem is not sitting up straight. It's canted like it's moving, right? These are subtle little things that make for uh, a really nice car. Throw in some big wheels and tires. The wheels and tires on here are uh, somewhere around five times bigger okay then the factory wheel and tire that would have come on there giving you that nice footprint so it handles the car is pretty fast also to go fast you have to be able to stop this has four-wheel disc brakes that are not only cross drilled they're slotted rotors as well all right small upgrades expensive upgrades but make a big difference in the overall driving experience lastly we like to do this under the hood right here and that's our paint quality test and remember, we're looking for crystal clear, clear, clear letters. <laughs> you know it. Crystal clear letters, right? Uh, and that's exactly what we have here. We can see the ceiling in there. We can see the lighting. The sharper the picture, the better the paint quality is, the happier you'll be. All right, so many of the people that buy a car from us really are just car people. They just love cars, right? Just as I love cars. However, they don't really care to tinker and do the stuff under the hood. They find somebody to help them do that, and I love that. That's great. Nothing makes me happier than people who enjoy their cars however you want to enjoy them. But however, if you want to go to a car show, uh, you want to go to a Cars and Coffee, uh, something like that, show your friends uh, in your garage, whatever it might be, we want the engine compartment to look nice, and a lot of the details and extra dollars are spent in there. I didn't throw out the fact that all of this chrome and stainless is all brand new. Stainless fasteners used in throughout all of this to assemble the whole car. These cool upgraded uh, LED tri-bar headlights, right? The first thing I see when I'm excited about a car is I like to see cooling systems, right? This has dual fans because we have air conditioning in this car. Dual electric fans pushing that big there through a radiator that's three times the size of the original factory radiator, all right? And because it's a V8 car, the radiator is on the outside of the firewall. If it's a six-cylinder car, they're on the inside uh, of that right there. Not the firewall, sorry. The radiator support. And then we have one more fan here uh, that's also pulling the air through. 
He's as serious about cooling as I am. I'm a freak about that, man. I like to be able to idle in 100 degree weather at the beach or whatever and not worry about the car overheating with the AC on and everybody in the car comfortable. Under here, all the billet that's been done, uh, billet pieces, serpentine belt drive, tubular suspension that's here, black ceramic coated headers, uh, chrome master cylinder and brake booster, billet specialties engine dress up package, uh, billet overflow tank, the hinges a Alone. The hinges alone are like $1,500 for hood hinges. It's this little detail stuff, right? With the stainless fastener and that, that this and the chrome here and the billet there that lets you know that somebody has spent a lot of money on this car getting it to its place. They didn't build this car to flip it, right? They built it to enjoy it and they did. He could no longer drive it anymore and now we're uh, finding a new home for it. All right, so I'd like to spend a little bit of time walking around the whole car. And like, I don't want you to spend a lifetime back here, but I want you to see some stuff that's pretty nice. And because there's a lot of money and time and detail spent on this. As you stand here and look through here, the interior of this car is very expensive. It's one of the nicest interiors we've had come through here. And we've had thousands of these, right? You can see there's a center console that goes all the way through, all finished back in here. The backs of the seats, the wrap around, uh, all the way through, painted, detailed, done, 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 right? All new chrome, stainless, taillight lenses, exhaust system underneath of the car. All that's fully restored. And then you throw in a trunk that you're never really going to use. But now you can. You could go away for the weekend, throw some stuff in here, and head someplace, head to the beach, head to the mountains, head to a winery, whatever, in this car. How cool would it be to go out with another couple in here, throw a cooler in the back, go for a picnic? It would be amazing, and the kids would love it as well. Just a cool, cool piece. All of this stuff custom matched to the interior of the car. This is very expensive stuff to do. It's all custom. Someone has to stow and make each and individual panel along the way. It's got the tri bar there on the back. The battery is hidden, hidden behind that shelf there, cleaning all of the trunk area up. Just looks really, really nice. And then we got keys. I don't want them to slam. And there you go. Fit and finish. Super, super nice. All right, so you're walking up to this car and you go, man, I love this car. It is so good looking. And we look at the, I had some great color names to it too that I uh, meant to say it was dark cherry and dove gray. Dove gray metallic. A lot of metallic in the gray, not a lot of metallic in the red, which really looks so good together. Somebody gave that a lot of thought. However, you're going to spend some time walking up to it, but most of the time you're going to spend is inside of it. And that's what we're going to talk about now. So let's do that because in here is as much spent here as it is on the outside of the car. As far as dollars go. Listen to that nice rattle free door. This has uh, upgraded tilt steering column. A lot of little touches in here that are very expensive, very expensive that we, that we need to talk about. For instance, the tilt wheel is very nice, right? This is a custom wheel to look like the original wheel, right? What's been taken and shrunk down into this so that you can get in and have lots of room. If you don't love this wheel, we can move this to a billet style wheel with like a half wrap leather on there. Not very expensive and kind of cool. This is a four passenger car with four bucket seats. I want you to see the back of this for a minute because you need to not only see how much time and effort went into making custom bucket seats and a center console and these beautiful panels here, but also this ridiculously handsome uh, headliner. Somebody put an enormous amount of time into making that and they had to figure a way to attach it and do all this stuff. I see that as this craftsman. This right here, not only is the seat, the center of the seats is Alcantara, but they run it up the back of the seat as well. You may say, well, Tone, it's just Alcantara. Like, why is that a big deal? Well, because it's a lot of work. <laughs> That's why it's a big deal. Stitching here that matches the, the trim on the seats. And then you look at the doors and the same Alcantara's underneath the door handles there, molded in. Look at the billet handles for all of that, the door opener, the window, uh, the vent. You come inside here, you got a beautiful console here. It's got inside USB and uh, auxiliary port. Okay, cup holders, double din with navigation. It's got modern heat and air conditioning, right? It's got a full custom dash with a factory tack, of, oh, sorry, factory tack. Full custom dash with an 8,000 RPM tack, 120 mile an hour speedometer, and a full array of gauges that are there. The dash is as nicely painted as the rest of the car. It's just it's a beautiful car. When you get a beautiful car and you see all this effort, like the molded in panels here with the AC vents down here, right? 
in here as well, molded all into this here. This interior was super, super expensive, and you can just tell it's super nice. By the way, it has satellite too. The antenna's over there, kind of hidden out of the way. I don't know. I just get excited because I know what this stuff costs and sometimes people don't. Here's how much he loved this car. Check this out. It has two sets of floor mats. It has this cool set here as well as another set on top so you don't get the other ones dirty. <laughs> you got to love him, man. You got to love him. But uh, he was a little older and he can no longer uh, wheel this, I believe. And, uh, and now it's time to help somebody else uh, enjoy this. All right, so we close up this video. Let's run down some of the stuff that's on here. Forget the simple fact that it was many, many tens of thousands just to make it look like this on the outside, right? Tens of thousands. The underneath of the car, all new sheet metal and the frame done and what have you. All new suspension with the uh, upgraded suspension that was there. Power four-wheel disc brakes, tubular suspension, modern air conditioning and heat, right? Digital sound system in there with satellite, navigation, all that good stuff. Four custom bucket seats built in here, billet shifter, billet knobs. I mean, just attention to detail from the, all the new chrome and stainless and emblems and wheels and tires. It goes on and on and on. This is the only way to buy a car, man. I'm telling you, if you're thinking about buying something and trying to build one yourself, you will spend twice as much as this car is, guaranteed 100%. On top of it, this comes with a beautiful stack of receipts and the restoration was done. This was not a car that was built to flip. This was a car that was built for him to drive for himself. And he drove it for a while and he enjoyed it and he took really good care of it. And now it's somebody else's turn to finally enjoy it. Imagine going out with the kids uh, to dinner or something like that or go out with another couple in this car. It is a game changer. Call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 55. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down below. That helps get our message out. Subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time. And uh, you can hit the share button down there. Some of your friends and people might like it as well. I'll see you on the next one.